And we'll go ahead and get started here. Just a few minutes. All right, and for today's practice, if you could have um, blocks would be great to have handy. If you don't have blocks, a book would be good too. But actually, we're just gonna use it at the end. So even like a beach towel or a um, blanket is also nice. We're just gonna use it towards the end to kind of support the back and a supported bridge. So it's not necessary, but it's kind of nice to have um, for those last few minutes that we'll be together. So those are the only props that we'll need today. Um, I thought today would be nice to, since it's the last day of June, um, actually we're at the halfway point of this uh, crazy 2020. Um, I just thought it would be nice to kind of end this, uh, this <laughs> I don't know, craziness uh, with kind of a, a water flow. So thinking about uh, the fluidity and water, actually the water element is just linked to, of course, the water in our body. We're made of a lot of water, but it's just that uh, it's really in our sacral area. It's focused in on like our hips area, our womb area. Um, it's just kind of that inside around um, that lower part of our body. And so when we move with fluidity and move with um, just exploring into this formless shape, it just really finds freedom within ourselves. And so I'd like this practice, if we could kind of think of the water element of flowing, not forcing. So we're not forcing ourselves into anything that is uncomfortable. We're just going to flow through everything. We might hold for just a few moments and a few poses, but for the most part, we'll just be kind of dancing through them and just feeling into the body um, for all of these things. So to start with, let's go ahead and find that comfortable seat and that's uh, part of that flowing right here as they shift around, Keep closing the eyes down, kind of moving around, getting yourself situated so you're feeling good where you're seated. And you don't have to have the legs crossed. You're welcome to, or you're welcome to have them out long. And let's just take a few moments here to check in with the body. And as we check in with the body, let's just find out, let's just check in and see how are we feeling body-wise? Are we feeling stiff and sore in some spaces? Maybe we're feeling open and fluid. Maybe we're feeling tired this afternoon. Maybe we're feeling energetic. Now for this little body scan, let's go ahead and check in with the breath. How is our breath? Is it jagged and erratic? Or is it smooth and soft? Without passing judgment or getting too hung up on either one of those things where our body or our breath is, let's just go ahead and get started in our practice here. Keeping the eyes shut down, let's go ahead and guide the palms to the belly. You can stack them on top of each other or just press the hands into each side of the belly. Draw in a great big inhale so that you fill the belly and you feel the hands expand with that breath. And on the exhale, we allow the belly to come back in towards spine. And just feel the, feel the hands coming inward. So inhale, send that breath all the way down to the belly, feel the expansion against the palms. And on that exhale, press the belly in towards the spine. 
maybe press just a little bit more just to get any more of that stagnant air out. And then inhale. And exhale. Let's play with the breath a little bit more, keeping the hands on the belly. We're gonna do a four count breath. So with the inhale, we're gonna inhale for four counts. Inhale, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, two, three, four, hold. Inhale, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, two, three, four, hold. Inhale, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, two, three, four. Pause, we'll do this one more time. Inhale, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold the breath for just a moment. And then with an open mouth exhale, release and let go and allow the hands to come to the lap. Beautiful. Just notice right here, just how that sensation of the breath kind of wakes up the body and uh, gets you prepared for the rest of the practice. Slide the hands into heart center, press palms together, roll the shoulders away from the ears. On that inhale, we're going to bring the fingertips up towards the ceiling. And on the exhale, bring the hands out wide and then draw them back in together. Inhale, pressing up. Exhale, draw that big circle out to the side and guide them back into center. Let's do that one more time. Gaze follows the fingertips as they raise up. And exhale, big circle around. And then draw the hands back in towards center. Bow the head down towards the fingertips. And just feel a little opening into the back of the neck for a moment. Inhale, sweep the fingertips up high. We're going to flow through a little twist here, but we're not holding it for very long. So fingertips are up. And we're going to twist over towards that right side, bringing that left hand to the right knee. Inhale, sweep the fingertips up. And exhale, twist to that opposite side. With our inhales, we float up. And with our exhales, we go to the opposite side. Continue with your breath. Just getting a nice twist in the spine. And then starting to work into the arms. Let's complete this rotation once more. Inhale on the up, exhale, twist. Inhale up, exhale, twist. Inhale, fingertips raise up, shoulders roll down the back. Grow tall here for a moment, and then we're just going to start to bow forward and raise up. Guiding forward and raising up. Really flex through the spine as we roll down and roll up. Waking up that spine, getting that nice wave through it. The next time that we come up, we're just gonna switch directions. So we're going to bring that hand over towards that right leg and then draw a little circle over to the left and come on up. So coming down, swooping all the way over and up. Arms might be feeling a little bit tired, but that's okay, just hang in there with me as we swoop down and up.
Raising up, we're gonna switch the directions and come now over to the opposite knee. Swish to the side and up. Lowering down and raising. Getting down into the belly. Just two more times, sweeping around. And raising up, release the hands down, roll the shoulders out, and take a couple breaths here. Dip the chin down towards the chest and play a few neck rolls, whether they're half neck rolls or full neck rolls. Just being gentle with the head and cautiously bringing the neck either around or just from peaking shoulder to shoulder. If you are finding full neck rolls, the next time that chin meets chest, let's reverse to that opposite direction. And slowly bring the head back up to neutral. Let's extend the legs long if you don't already have them long. Bring them out front. You kind of paddle out the feet a few times, rolling through the ankles in one direction and then the other direction. And then coming into that seated space, toes are pointed up towards the ceiling. Bring the fingertips up towards the sky, roll the shoulders down the back. We're going to find that same bowing movement, but we're not going to land. So we're coming up high. And then as if we're waving over the rocks here, we're bringing up height with us as we lower down and raising up. You'll notice now we start to feel this into our back side of our legs, as well as our spine. Bowing forward. Rolling up, moving with fluidity, moving with the breath, rolling forward and back up. A couple more times. Once more, rolling forward and raising up, release the arms down. Widen the legs so we're into a V shape. It doesn't have to be super wide, it can be as wide as what is comfortable for you. We're going to add those arms and that movement once again. This time we're going to go from leg to leg. So inhale, raising up, turn that torso towards one leg. I'm starting with my right, bowing forward, rolling up, and then coming over to that other side. Moving with your breath, coming to leg, raising and going to that opposite side. Again, noticing how this feels different in that lower half of the body, starting to stretch into different parts of the leg and into the hips here. Just a few more of these waves side to side. And arms are getting a good workout too. And then come on back up, release the shoulders down, roll them forward a few times. We're gonna come around to our knees now. <clears throat> you can use that blanket or beach towel to pad up the knees if you would like. I'm just gonna move mine out of the way for right now. Then we're gonna come down into this knee, onto the knees for a minute, walk the big feet. Lock the big toes together, knees out wide, and instead of just going straight into our wide legged child's pose, just shift from side to side. Maybe draw circles. Starting to get into these hips a little bit more. Whatever feels good. And that's the other part of this fluid, oh, uh, this fluid practice that we're working on this afternoon. Excuse me is we're really trying to listen to intuitively what feels good in the body. Listening to how the body likes to move and what it needs. Maybe a few more circles. 
or a few more shifting back and forth. And when you're ready, we'll go ahead and land those hips down, bring that pelvis down between and extend the hands out long, melting chest and forehead down. If the earth is feeling too far away, this is a great place to place that block or blanket underneath the forehead. Take a few breaths in the back body. And our back actually represents our past. So think about what you're going to leave behind, what you no longer need, and what you're going to let go. Let that melt off your back and release it out of your life. Staying down low to the ground, let's go ahead and walk both hands over to the right side of our mat and readjust to melt back down here. Coming up onto fingertips, recenter the body. And then walk both hands on over to that opposite side, melting down here. Getting that nice breath in, stretch into the shoulders and into the rib cage. One more breath. Then walk the hands back around to center. Place all the way into the palms as we raise back up and center the knees underneath the hips. So we're going to go into a cat-cow flow here, but instead of our traditional cat-cow, I'd like to kind of bend these elbows. So we're going to bend our elbows, bring our bottom down towards the heels, and then press into the palms, really feeling through the entirety of the spine as we snake up and come into our cow. Tuck chin in towards chest, start to bend those elbows, and bring those hip points back down. So it's kind of like a flow through our child's pose and our cat cows. And feel free to just kind of ad lib here and add anything, any movements that feel good. So we're adding that bent elbow today, rounding in the back, tucking down, and forcing the not forcing, excuse me, but pressing forward and rolling through. A few more, really articulate through the spine. And when we're ready, we'll meet back up in our tabletop position. Coming into our tabletop position, let's raise that right hand up above, and we're going to thread the needle, bring it down and through, not landing just yet, but hovering above the ground. Inhale, sweep the fingertip up. Exhale, guide it through, threading the needle. Coming back up again. And then coming all the way around and through. This time we're going to plant that shoulder, plant the temple on that right side down onto the earth or your mat, and extend that left hand long in front. Check in with those <clears throat> hip points and make sure that you're not shifting too far over to the left side. Keep pressing into both knees. And breathe into the shoulder here. And again, this is a great place to use that block, maybe underneath the cheek, underneath the temple. One more breath here. Now walk that left hand in line with the face. Press into that palm as we raise the right hand back up towards the sky and then release the palm back down onto the earth. Let's switch to that opposite side. So peeling that left hand up high, tucking it through, weaving it down but not landing. 
and then rotate open your hands to chest. Shifting through, bring it down, not coming down all the way just yet. One more time, raise up, feel this nice stretch. You should feel this in the obliques and the side of the abs as well. And then guide it through, bringing that cheek down to the mat. And we walk now, that right hand forward. Check in with those hips and make sure that you're not shifting too far to one side. Give that shoulder a couple of breaths here. Walk the hand back in line with your face, press into the palm, and raise that left hand up towards the sky once more, and then guide it down onto the earth. Walk the hand prints, one hand print forward, tuck the back toes underneath, Peel the knees up off of the earth and raise up into our downward facing dog. Take a few moments to pedal out the feet here a few times. Coming into stillness, really see if you can pick up that tailbone up towards the sky and relax the chest down towards the top of the thighs. We're gonna find that same fluidity here. So we're going to shift forward, bring the knees down to the earth, and then come into a modified plank here. Shine that chest through the arms, and then tuck back, bringing those hip points up, downward facing dog. Shift the body forward, plant the knees down, press that chest through, take a peek up, and then ripple through the spine as we bring the hip points back up and our down dog. One more time, release the knees down onto the earth as we shift forward into a modified plank. And then roll back up into our down dog. Take a beat towards the front of the mat and a little step up all the way to the front. We'll meet here in forward fold. Knees are bent, the belly is on top of the thighs. And let's just kind of shift around side to side. Head is heavy. We are not doing any work in the head. We're letting it just hang down. Letting anything and everything we do not need. Water fall off the back. Drip off the head, drip off the fingertips and let go. Bring the hands to the top of the thighs, find a halfway lift, and then melt back down, forward fold. Bend the knees, press into the feet, and sweep the fingertips all the way up above the head. Palms come together above the head, and then gentle them into heart center, press those palms together. Close the eyes down for just one moment, and feel that flush of energy here. Duplicating the same movement that we had at the beginning of the practice. Press into the palms, bring the palms up towards the ceiling. Cactus the heart open, release the hands down, and then bring them back into chest. Inhale, gaze follows as we raise the fingertips up. Cactus open, and then draw them back into heart center. One more time, fingertips come up, open out, Release them down by the hips, send them back into the heart. Now that's caught at a flow here where we're folding forward. So inhale, fingertips raise up. Exhale, cactus out to the side and swan dive all the way down into a forward fold. Pressing in the feet, bending the knees, combine the hands together and then press them up towards the sky, cactus out, and swan dive all the way down. Hands come back together, bend into the knees, burst up high, and roll all the way back down. One more time, combine the hands, press into the feet, shoot up high, 
raise out to the side, and forward fold all the way down. Hang heavy here for a moment, and then let's flow a little bit with our forward fold here. Bring the hands to the top of the shins and find a halfway lift. So we're using those shins to kind of get that little kickstand so we can press ourselves forward. Flat back. Take another inhale here. And on the exhale, mount down, forward fold. Hands come to the top of the shins. Find that halfway lift again, flat back. Melt back down, forward fold. One more time, rippling up into that halfway lift. And then melt down, forward fold. Press into feet, bend into knees, and sweep all the way back up to standing. Gentle the palms back into heart center. And then we're going to find a little bit of a side body stretch here. So raise the fingertips up above the head. Take a hold of that right wrist and dip over towards that left side. Step that right foot out and bring it behind the left leg. So think of this as a little curtsy lunge. And that foot is behind and we open up into the chest here. Release the foot, release the hand, and come back to center. Take a hold of that opposite wrist, lean over to the side, step that foot behind, really getting into side body here. Open up in the chest, we're not hunching forward, we're stretching back. Releasing the hand, releasing the foot, coming back to center. Let's do that a little bit faster, so in more of a flowing pace. Fingertips raise up, take a hold of that right wrist, right foot steps behind, open out to the side. Inhale, release back to center, take a hold of that opposite side, step behind, open out here. Release the wrist, release the foot, and come back around to center. Step those toes out to the wide edge of the mat. So we're just stepping a little bit wider. If you want to be at the top of your mat, that's fine. Or you can step to the side too. Toes are out, heels are in. Hands come out to the side as we press down, bending down into a squat. Palms come out as we're pressing any of that negativity away from the body. Holding here for a moment. And then straighten the legs, bring the hands up above the head. Press back down into this goddess squat. And come back up, straightening legs, straightening hands. One more time, sink down. So we're getting a little opposition here of where I'm pressing that tailbone down towards the earth, but I'm pulling up on that pelvic floor. I'm using those palms to press away any bad energy. Straighten the legs, bring the hands back up and then gentle them into heart center. Turn the toes so now they are facing forward. Bring the hands to the top of the thighs, and we're just gonna to start to shift side to side. That stance can be a little bit wider or it can be a little shorter, whatever you're feeling this afternoon. Coming back to center, we're going to fold all the way down into a wide-legged forward fold. Checking in to see where you're distributing the weight in the feet. Walk both hands over towards that right foot. And then we're just going to draw an arc across the body over to the left. Let's keep that rainbow arc where we're coming back and forth. Shifting side to side. And keeping with that movement, we're going to start to straighten the spine. Slowly coming all the way back up, taking our time so we don't get a head rush. And then zip the legs back together again. Let's work into our hips a little bit more. You can start with the hands on the hips or you can bring them together at heart center, pressing palms together. You'll find one way works for you to help with the balance here. Pressing now into that left foot, 
raise that right knee up. Keep the foot flexed. And then open the knee out to the side. Keeping foot flexed. And then come back to center. Open out to the side. One more time, back to center. Open out to the side. Back to center. Release the foot down and march it out a few times. All right, let's check in on that other side. So now we're placing all the way into that right foot as we guide that left knee up. Check it out, see if it feels good to hold on to the hips or if we wanna keep pressing prayer hands together. Bring that knee out to the side, opening into the hip and then back to center. Out to the side, back to center. One more time, nice and slow and controlled. Open out to the side, back to center, and release and stamp that foot down. Pedal it out a few times. I'm gonna go back to the front of my mat. Depending on where you're at, come back to the front of your mat as well. Fingertips raise up towards the ceiling or sky. Release all the way down in the forward fold. Notice how our hamstrings are starting to feel hopefully a little bit more warmed up. Halfway lift and then melt back down. Sweep the fingertips up and then gentle the palms back in the heart center. Keep that right foot forward as that left foot steps back into a high lunge. Sink that back knee down and bring the fingertips up above the head. We're going to shift the chest forward and the palms forward. So bowing forward and then sweeping up and maybe coming into a little back bend. On that inhale, we bow and hinge at the hips and rotate up. One more time, bowing forward, and then raising back up. Release the hands to the hips, and step that back foot up to meet the front foot. We're gonna go through that flow all over again. So starting from the top, inhale, fingertips raise up, and exhale, roll all the way down, forward fold. Hands come to the shin, find a halfway lift. Ripple wrap down into a forward fold. And let's do it either for a minute. Find that halfway lift, melt back down. Halfway lift, melt back down. Press into the feet, bend into the knees, sweep all the way up tall. Take a hold of that right wrist, dip over to the left side, walk that right foot behind, and open up here. Inhale back to center, release the cross of the leg. Take a hold of that opposite wrist, step the foot behind, and open up in the side body here. Inhale as we unwind, and release the palms down. Step the feet out wide, Big toes or both to all sets of toes out to the side, heels towards each other. Palms come out, uh, bring those elbow points in like little cricket arms, and sink down, caressing that bad energy away from the body, releasing what we no longer need. Chest is forward, that tailbone is tucked in a little bit. Straighten that front leg, or right, straighten both legs, arms come up high. Sink back down into our goddess pose. Come back up, straightening legs, hands come up. Last time, sinking down, resting those palms away from the body, and then raising up, turn those toes so they're facing forward, and sweep all the way down into a wide leg and forward. Might wanna shift a little into the hips, side to side. Get a nice stretch into the inner side of our legs. And then the knees. Come into stillness and sweep the fingers, both fingers over to that right foot and then draw a rainbow across the body over to the left. 
coming back around. Let's do this a few more times. Make sure that that head is hanging down, that you are not adding any assistance to the neck at all. And as we continue to shift side to side, slowly start to straighten the spine, taking your time to wind all the way back up to standing. Zip the legs together at the front of the mat. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, swan dive all the way down for your foot. Press into the feet, bend into the knees. Come all the way back up to standing. Hands gentle into heart center. Almost forgot a step here, but now I remember it. <laughs> We're going to place all of that weight into that right foot as that left knee raises up towards the ceiling. Open out to the side and then back to center. Press and open very slowly out to the side, and then back to center. One more time, opening out to the side, back to center. We're gonna add on here just a little bit. We're gonna hinge at the hips and start to press that foot back into our warrior three. And if this is feeling like it's too high, just keep the foot down on the ground in a lunge. Very slowly guide that knee back around to center and lower it down. Checking in on that opposite side, all the weight will now go into that left foot as that right knee guide up towards the chest. Press the knee out and open and come back around to center. Opening out to the side. Back to center. One more time to open. Back to center. Hinging at the hips, guiding the chest forward, bringing that foot back into our warrior three. Keep pressing into those palms. Keep that toe dial down to the earth, or you may be even planted on the earth. And slowly guide it up and through, and release down. March it out a few times. Now that left foot is going to stay forward as that right foot steps back into our high lunge. Sweep the fingertips up high. Guide that chest forward. Hands come forward and stretch and reach. Inhale on the up. And exhale, bow forward. Inhale to sweep up. And exhale one more time, bowing forward. Raising back up, row tall here for just a moment. Sink that back knee down. Release the palms to the waistline and step that foot up. Fingertips come up. And on that exhale, dive all the way back down forward. Halfway lift and melt back down. Press into the feet, bend into the knees, and sweep all the way up, tall mountain. Gentle palms back in the heart center. And just take a pause here, feel that blood flow in the body. Hopefully you're feeling nice and warmed up, or maybe a little bit more flexible. Let's go through that one more time, but we're gonna quicken the pace a little bit. So inhale, fingertips sweep up. Exhale, swan dive all the way down to a forward fold. Hands come to the shins, halfway lift. Melt back down, forward fold. Half lift, melt forward. One more time, half lift, melt forward. Press into the feet, sweep the fingertips all the way up, palm out. Take a hold of that right wrist, step that right foot behind, and reach over to the left side. Inhale on the up, release the hands. Take a hold of that opposite wrist, step that left foot behind, and reach over to the right side. Inhale to release the hands. Come back to center, and then walk the feet wide. Big toes are tall toes out to the side, heels towards each other. As we lean down, press those hands away from the body. 
Straighten the legs, bring the palms up high. Lower down, we're really building heat and energy here. Raising up and then lowering down. Hold here for just a moment. And then we're going to add something on here where we're going to bring the hands to the top of the thighs. Keeping those toes out to the side, guide that right shoulder in towards center and take a peek up towards that left shoulder. Bringing that left shoulder into center, using that palm to press the thigh open just a little bit more. And let's do that one more time on each side. Guide across the body. Take a peek over that back shoulder. Across the body. And peeking over the shoulder. Coming back around to center. Turn the toes so that they're facing forward now. Release the body all the way down. Wide legged forward fold. We'll have a little fun playing here, shifting side to side, bending into each knee. Coming back to center, let's bring those hands over towards the left side and arc over towards the left. Head is hanging down as we just find this little gentle twist side to side. Start to straighten and come up very, very slowly. Don't want any head rushes, so we're taking our time. Come back up to standing. Zip the legs together. All of the weight now is into that left foot as that right knee guides up. You can press the palms together or keep the hands at the hips. Open the knee out to the side. Keep the foot flexed and then bring it back to center. Open the knee out to the side, and then back to center. One more time, we're gonna do something a little bit different here. Open the knee out to the side, and then straighten that leg out to the side. If you want more of a challenge, you can bring that left hand out to the opposite side. Stretch and reach in opposite directions here. See if you can raise that leg up a little bit higher. And then release the foot down, release the hand down, and give a little march out. All right, opposite side. All the weight is now into that right foot as that left knee guides up towards the chest. Open the knee out to the side. Knee comes back around the center, then opens out to the side. Once again, back to center, out to the side. Back to center. Now open out to the side and straighten that leg out. Opposite arm can raise up in our falling star here. A lot of strengthening in that standing leg, a lot of balance. Now release that foot down and give it a little pedal and shake out here. Last time with our lunges, fingertips raise up. Right foot steps back. Coming into that lunge. Raise the fingertips up and then bow the chest forward, bringing palms forward, facing towards each other. Inhale, sweep me up. Exhale, lowering down. One more time, raising up, lowering down, raising up. Hold here for a moment, sink that back knee down. Then release the hands to the hips. Step that back foot forward. Inhale on the up. Exhale, small dive all the way down forward. Halfway lift. Melt back down. Bend into the knees. Sweep all the way up. Now keeping that right foot forward, excuse me, left foot forward. The right foot steps back into that high lunge. Find your grounding here as you sweep the hands up. Pressing into that front foot, bring that chest forward and the palms forward. Raising up, lowering down. Raising up, feel that wave in the body, lower down. One more time, raising up, 
Let's sink that back knee down just a little bit more. And then release the hands to the hip line. Set that back foot up to meet the front foot. And for our last time, we find our forward fold. Sweep the hands up. Lower the body all the way down. Place the hands onto the earth. Step back, downward facing dog. Notice here how the body is feeling different than when we began. Maybe the back of our body is feeling a little more open. Maybe our hamstrings are feeling a little more flexible. Lower the knees all the way down to the earth. We're going to swim around here and come down onto our back side, keeping that block or that blanket, whatever prop or hook that you have handy. Come on down onto our backside. When we come down, I just want you to find a little shift in the pelvis a few times. So knees are bent, soles of the feet are down onto the earth. Just gonna rock that pelvis back and forth. So bringing those hip bones and that pelvis towards the rib cage and then down towards the heels. So we're not raising the hips up off the earth just yet. We're just rocking back and forth. Come into a neutral spine and see if maybe you create a little bit more space here. Now drop the knees in towards the chest, give them a hug and a squeeze. We're gonna draw some circles with the knees Rotating them over to the right side a few times. Getting that sacrum and that little heart shape of our lower back, a massage between those pelvis tilts and our little rollouts here. Coming back to center, now reverse that circle in the opposite direction, coming around to the left side. Bring the knees into the chest, give them a little squeeze. And then release the legs. We're going to keep the knees bent, but I want my shins parallel with the ceiling. So as if I was in a kneeling position, but I'm on my back. I'm placing my palms onto the top of the thighs. I'm going to press those thighs against my palms and my palms against the thighs. So I'm looking for a resistance here as if I'm trying to press those knees in towards the body and my hands are saying, nope, pressing in the opposite direction. And the same thing, the hands are pressing away. We're giving that opposition of press, press, press. Just for another moment, finding that opposition, that resistance here. And then release the tension in the body. Take a hold of the top of the knees. And now just find a few moments of rotating the legs around. And that could be in one direction or the other. You can play however you would like to here. Maybe they both go in the same direction at the same time. Maybe one leg goes out. Just moving fluidity, fluid, fluid, moving fluid. <laughs> and instinctually and organic. Pull those knees into the chest once more. Give them a squeeze. And then release the soles of the feet down onto the earth. Knees are bent. And find a few of our rolling bridges here. So keep those feet firmly pressed into the ground. If you need that block to remind you to not let the knees fall out to the side, you can use it to squeeze right between the thighs. That's completely optional. It's just a nice little reminder to kind of keep squeezing inward instead of letting things kind of splay out. Palms are down to begin with. Press into the heels as you raise the top of those hip points up towards the sky. Keep pressing into the feet. And make sure that you're not clenching too tight. You don't want to clench into the lower back. 
all that work we did here. We don't want to compromise that now. Keep that chin away from the chest, and then slowly lower that bum back down onto the earth. We're gonna flow here with a little bit. So as we raise the hip points up towards the ceiling, bring those hands up and above the head, and then lower back. Couple more times, moving at your own pace. As you raise that belly and raise those hip points up, hands raise above the head and lower back down. Squeezing those legs into that imaginary block or that real block, making sure that we're keeping those legs together as we raise up and then lower down. One more time, raising up, then lowering back down. This is where we're gonna use that prop. So whether it is a gold blanket, a gold towel, a block, or a book, we're gonna press into those heels and raise those hip points up. Lacing that prop right underneath the sacrum. So I don't want it necessarily on my glutes or my booty, and I don't want it on my backside. I want it in that little, that little heart shape that we talked about, that sacrum area. So there should be no pinching right here. It should feel pretty good and supportive. If you are using a blanket or a towel and you're feeling like you're up too high, then just take a couple rolls out of it. Just make it passive. And you can always just rest on the earth too. Let's open into that psoas and into that hip flexor, the front hip flexor a little bit more. So I'm going to extend my right foot down. So my right foot is coming down, my left knee is staying bent. Bringing that same arm, so now I extend my right hand above the head. This might feel like too much of a back bend, so if it is feeling uncomfortable to have that support underneath, just remove it out of the way. Otherwise, just enjoy for a moment. Just feel that opening into the front hip area here, a place that gets pretty tight and sore from sitting for too long. Now we can add a little bit more of a sensation, a different sensation of walking that foot over towards that left side of the mat and then walking that hand. So think about how we did those curtsy stance earlier on in our practice, where I'm creating a banana or a half moon shape by bringing that extended leg and that extended arm over to the opposite side. Careful to not cut off the airway here. And take a few breaths. Really feel this nice foot juicy stretch and opening. The side body, hip flexor, and that so fast. Start to straighten back around and bend that knee and bring that arm back down to the side. We'll check in on that opposite side now, extending that left foot down. You should feel right away this good stretch and opening into the top of that front hip. Extend the hand above the head. Same hand as the same foot that's extended. Pause here for just a moment. And as we open the heart and open the body, letting positivity flow in. So you can find the option here where we create that banana shape or that half moon shape of bringing the foot and the hand over to the right side. If that's too intense, just come back to where we started. And use the breath to kind of meet in those dark spaces. So open up. Now 
into that breath work that we had at the beginning of our practice where we're breathing into the belly. Straightening the arm, straightening the leg, walk the foot back up. And then we're going to raise both feet up towards the ceiling. My bottom or my sacrum is still on the block. If that feels like too much for you, just go ahead and remove that prop out of the way. Let's take a few moments here. We're reversing the direction of the blood flow. Variation of legs up against the wall. Very slowly, bend the knees and release the soles of the feet back down onto the earth. Press into those feet to raise the hip points up and remove any of those blocks or props, blankets out of the way. And pause for just a moment. Hopefully you feel a little bit more opening in that lower half of the body. Walk the feet as wide as the yoga mat and just windshield wiper side to side a few times. Be gentle. The next time that the legs fall over towards the left side, allow them to melt down. They may not come all the way to the earth and that is okay. You're welcome to take the arms out into a cactus shape or a T shape. And if you want to complete the twist, then you can peek over that right shoulder. If you have the head turned, turn it back in line with the spine, engaging in the abdominals, bring those knees back up and slowly release them to that opposite side. And again, the legs may not come all the way down and that's fine. Just fight the knee to resist that. We're flowing here today, not resisting. breaths to detoxify the body in this twist. Very slowly guide those knees back up. Feet stay wide for just one more moment as the knees knock in towards each other. Lower the hands down. Reset spine here. Just another breath. And then we're going to come into our Shavasana. We're going to make this an active Shavasana today instead of our typical relaxation. It's still going to be relaxing, but we want to kind of have an energetic, um, energetic flowing practice. We're going to extend the legs out wide. So they're nice and wide, maybe wider than the yoga mat. We're going to extend the hands above the head and come out to the side. So we're like starfish here, taking up space. And closing the eyes down and just feeling the effects of our practice on the entirety of our body. If you can feel the breath all the way from the fingertips to the toes.
Guide the legs together, guide the hands above the head, stretch and reach. Take one more inhale. And with that exhale, release everything and let go. Place the soles of the feet onto the earth once more. We rotate to the hip and come into our fetal position. Pausing here for just a few moments. Just wanted to read a quote that kind of comes around that is, I believe, is very fitting for this practice. Water is formless and the space of all possibilities. Water is formless and the space of all possibilities. Hopefully you create a space in your body this afternoon and the space is full of possibilities to fill it. Press into that palm and slowly rise all the way back up. Take your time to meet me and see it. We guide the hands together once more, pressing palms together. Draw in an inhale and seal our practice with an exhale out. Thank you so much for joining me this afternoon and sharing your energy and your practice and your water flow with me. Have a fantastic rest of the day. Namaste. How are we all feeling? Let me unmute everybody. <laughs> Good. Good? Yes. Don't have you. quite as many people as there were in there in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> we had a few we had a few distractions. <laughs> <laughs> But it was great. Everybody good? Yeah. Good, yes. Thank you. Good. All right. Well, hopefully we're feeling pretty good in the body. And see you again next week then. Good weekend, everybody. Yes. Good happy Fourth of July. Have a great weekend. Thank Stay you. safe and enjoy. Our recent okay. invoices. I'm so oh, thank you. Thank you, Christy. I appreciate it. Oh. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.